Texas back there. All right, the lake. This, uh, not looking forward to this. Any level with water, I'm sorry. It really, like, makes me think bad stuff's gonna happen. Hopefully the level's more like this, where there isn't too much deep water. It's just, like, shallow stuff. But it's called the lake, so I don't imagine there would be. What the hell is a rhino tar? Rhino tar sunk this ancient town a great while ago. Wait, did it rise up again? The town needs to make up its mind. What is a rhino tar? I'm actually concerned. Look at you. It must be 500 years since you were last on my ferry. You don't look a day over 400. Now, here we are. Zarok's magic has caused the lost mythical town of Melamede to rise in this watery evening. Melamede. See you soon. Cool. Do I just come back to you once I'm done? You haven't got your army now. Better to use stealth than charge in. Beware the watchers. Slay them before they spot you and summon others. I guess this is where the magic bow comes in. Alright, this is where you need really good camera control game. So I'm counting on you to grant me that. A fish. See a watcher over there. Can't do nothing about it. Too far. There's something yellow over there too. I think they're gonna try to do the first watcher. Make it a surprise. There's all these fish everywhere. Check the fish out. These floundering things lure naive fishermen near the water before dragging them screaming into the watery depths. There's no such thing as an easy meal in Galamere, not for humans at least. Mm -hmm. What is that? Fish? So maybe I'm being overly cautious now. I'm really looking out for a... Uh, why is it red there? Hold on, let's see if uh, the crossbow is better here. Oh, the crossbow ricochets. Did they teach me about that, or is that like brand new? See something on the tentacle. What is that? What is this? Oh, this uh, switches us around. Okay. I'm okay for now. I don't need to worry about that. fish. I simply cannot. They're gonna still be... Oh, oops. I 
I guess I just gotta get past them. Okay. They can only shoot in like specified areas. a watcher. You just don't want to be in front of it. But I can't seem to target it. Let me see. Couple of times you hit it once, it seems to disable it. Hit it more than once, and uh, you kill it. Hired muscle. The guardians of Galamir should really shell out more clams for their services. You guys are really funny. These barnacles still stick around. <laughs> Don't that that's that's pretty good. Pun level over nine thousand. So all I gotta do is this and destroy. Three charge attacks does it. I'm okay with. There is this thing as well. This looks. Um, I like a watcher, but like something else. Something that actually attacks. Okay, yep. Figured they were gonna have one hitting around here. So that one's over there. It's for sure gonna be more than one though. Yep. Of course they'll put the obvious one right in the open. This is where the enemies probably come from. Uh, I gotta be careful in here. Can't move the camera. Thank you, Medieval. Alright. Those two doors for this place. What else is here? Uh, I kind of don't want to do this because it's a chance I'm taking, but... Okay. Where's all this stuff? I don't have the star room. chaos room can't do the camera of course when you really want to move the camera you cannot <clears throat> I see another rune over there but we gotta come back later here. do you have anything to say the ancient people of this long vanished town once sought to harness the power of crystals found in the caverns below. Now, Zarak seeks to unlock the secrets of this arcane science. This mine shaft leads deep into the earth to certain doom in the crystal caverns. Why, thank you. 
I really do dig the story. What I like about the story is that Zyrock is an active villain. He has a lot of um, plans going on in the background and he's continuously working on this plan as well. His plan isn't just to take over the world. It's like, you know, he's dabbling in all these different sciences. It's pretty cool. Okay. So we gotta deal with these idiots. I don't know what the charge shot for this does. Whoa, okay, okay. And it only uses one arrow even when you charge it. That's pretty nice. I thought I saw a watcher though. Could have swore I seen a watcher over here somewhere. Guess not. That guy. See if we can charge up one and blow him up. Come on back, old buddy, old pal. What are you doing? Those guys down there look like the Castlevania flea men. Oh, he's not coming. Is he coming back at me? No. So I wanted to blow somebody up. Sally, it won't be today. I wonder how much these arrows cost. Okay. So we got two different ways we can go. Nope, nope, nope. We're down with this way for now. Got HP down there. I don't really think we need it. And I don't know what else. I see um, jerks all around. Gonna conserve those arrows and try to just use more of these. This is the primary weapon. All right, this is my last time using a crossbow. It's too weak. It's very weak. All right, I want to continue to use this. he comes back I should get a good shot on him come on go on fairy okay. oh that didn't take him out at all he spit stuff there dang one of those these, these things are strong goodness I definitely want to invest in those. I wish I did this earlier in the game. Check out each one of the enemies. These aquatic abnormalities found a home in the sunken town of Melomede. Here they spend their days performing ritualistic sacrifices to a malevolent elder deity. Perhaps best not to get involved, I'd say. I would I would concur. I will concur. Uh, these guys remind me of the Japanese Kappa. So this isn't open. I'll probably have to approach this from the other side. Because I doubt that is anything but death. I doubt you can just jump over there either. Maybe I should just grow some balls and try it. Um, I know there's some like healing over there, so I might just give it a try, just, just for the sake of science. Nope, invisible walls, of course. This game doesn't really encourage creativity, but it does encourage punishment. Alright, fair enough. Uh, I think I'm going to need that later. It's fine, I can, I can flip the switch later. Can I hit him from here? I think I can. He's up. That's fine. Alright. Keep my shield up. The other guy coming. Let's 
see a couple watchers. Okay, I see him. That's fine, come on. Really? Yeah, normally it just takes two. Maybe I missed them on one of them. There's a watcher. Unfortunate you can't uh, target the watchers from a distance. Oh, look at the look at the uh, Soul River esque abyss down there. That's amazing. I want to get snuck up on, but this is really freaking cool. I think he's moving. I think he's moving. Yeah, just just let me kind of take a look at that. That's so cool. That is super cool. Jeez, that is amazing. I love it. I think he's trying to get to me, but it's okay. I go this way. Oh, did that thing just like look around? Oh, let me, let me take this guy out so I don't gotta worry about him. Come on over, dude. Fine. Three. You just have to run across There's a couple of areas to go to. I'm just gonna use the healing right now. There's no reason to really not to, not to use it. Oh, you can't hit it from over here. Okay. Let's do it. time I like the explorative elements of the game I think if the platform was a little stronger I would really really enjoy the explorative elements and if you had control of the camera more frequently but as it is pretty solid <clears throat> like discovering stuff and oh crap uh, probably use the flaming arrows this time You're on fire, man. Why don't you accept that fate of yours? Jeez. Okay, the magic arrows are the way to go. That is that is just how we're gonna do things. That is just how we're gonna do things. Uh, against like actual enemies. So I can run up and then I think hit him with uh there we go. There we go. That worked out. So what is this doing? Oh, you know what? Maybe this makes the um Maybe this makes the current turn a different direction. That's amazing. Uh, Garak or Xerox magic is pretty outrageous. The time room. The crystal contraptions that surround the whirlpool can freeze its dangerously turbulent waters. You will need all of the rune keys to activate the magical machines. This is cool. I'm actually really getting into this. This is, this is really epic. Whoa, 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 no, Dan, don't do that. That's really flipping epic. Anything interesting back here? No? Right. Yeah, here we go. So the whirlpool is froze. 
But what does that mean for me? I don't exactly know what this does. Oh, I jump down into it. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh, was was there more to do here, or? I guess not. I wanted to do more with the uh, chalices, but suppose there's not else, not anything else to do. A moment. Down we go. Oh wow. Silver shield. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. Then again, let's keep using this because we can buy more of these at the very least. Oh, this is crazy awesome. Nobody told me the game was this cool. <laughs> no pun intended, but yeah, this is incredible, honestly. Um, what should I do? I want to equip the strongest weapons I have. So I'm going to equip this and this. What is that, money? The music is hitting just right, too. I guess like moments like this is why uh, the team that remade this wanted to remake it. I kind of just want to like, again, no pun intended, just kind of chill in here. Like, this is really cool. Kind of sad I got to leave. And here's the chalice. What the hell? Like, hold on, how did it see me? Did I kill it, or what? I guess I did. Maybe, I don't know. Guess it's dead. have a lot of defense. Okay, so that is for sure. That's just a um excuse me. That's just a uh <clears throat> a projectile launcher. It's not the actual warning. Star room. I see it. I see yellow over there. But where is that? Over here. There's two of them. And there's another one here. Wow. Well, these are all the projectile ones. got through this without triggering one alarm that's pretty good honestly achievement worthy there. what if this is the one that trips the alarm because they don't want to show me a damn good camera angle what is this dinosaur just marveling at the level Oh, doing the wrong 
shit. What's this? What's, what is all of this? This is kind of neat. Really? You're alive? How? How are you alive? Alright. Got Star Room. So the thing is, we can't go through here. That is sealed off. Maybe there is a switch over here that uh, helps us with that. This is what I'm guessing. Yep, the lever. The levers for these gates are in the weirdest places. They're never near the gate. Uh, I'm, I'm of course thinking realistically instead of video game logic so forgive me for that <clears throat> all right here we go let's get out of here all things considered this was a really fun level like not too much it didn't really rely on the platforming at all, and it was like, you know, the stealth was actually a really fun component of the level. Like, it wasn't overly complex or anything like that, but it really did add to the level in a lot of ways. The ancient people of the oh, I thought this was a uh, purchase gargoyle. Guess none of those are around. And we are off. To the Hall of Heroes to collect our bounty. As heroes should. All things considered, that level, as slow as I went through that level, it went really quickly. next maybe a stronger hammer at this point uh, I guess I'm overdue for a sword yeah All right, Dan, man. How you doing? <laughs> now Dan, have you got yourself a magic sword I do but it's temporary <laughs> oh I have an enchanted sword what? Daniel man. You can't go into battle against an army of undead without a magic sword. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Mind. You'll never have to sharpen another blade, or my name's not Dirk Steadfast. It's not enough just to have a magic shield, you know, no matter what that soft ticky stern card says. Aww. Good lad. Why, I'd sooner go into battle holding a tea tray than carry that weedy gale shield of his. Aww. How about both? Yeah, this one's not temporary. What can it do? They don't really tell you what it can do. Oh, this thing looks cool. Look at it. Oh, man. Uh-oh, sword beams. I'm, I'm for it. Sword beams. Okay, not sword beams. But still, really cool. You know what? I'm feeling like a hero. I felt deep power throughout the whole game, but now I'm starting to feel like an actual goddamn hero all right let's go we're making really good uh, progress 